Hi, uh, my name is Harold Sawyer. I work at Military and Commercial Faster, and we'd like to welcome you here this morning. We're going to do a little setup here on a, one of our uh, Reed B112 thread die rollers. Uh, we're going to be put installing dies. We had already set our uh, work rest height. We determined that by subtracting half of the diameter of the blank from a known uh, dimension, which is two inches. And we usually, as a rule, we'll leave it about 10 thousandths under that, under the center. Put the die in. You can see there's a keyway there to hold them in. I'll crank this out a little bit. Okay, here's the markings on the die. We usually always run a marker out, and then if we flip the die, we run it with the non-marker out. Put it into the keyway. Back against her. Then we have these die supports here that support the spindles while it's thread rolling. And then we have an end cap here. little torque on it. Now we'll line up our rest blade. That looks good right there. Put these shims underneath there, it just makes it quicker to bring them in and out. Rest steady. Our rest work rest blade. It doesn't need to be new, too much torque because there's not a lot of lateral force during this rolling process. Okay, we're gonna bring in our both as we can. Looks pretty good right there. Tighten them up, tighten up the bolts. Pretty good there. Now I'll lock up these bolts. I'll lock up the tie rod support here. That'll support it from yeah. flexing. I'd like to thank you for joining us to see the die change video.